Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Tennis. Last time we beat Mario Umberto in the Planet Cup, the last tournament, and this time we'll be going against Donkey Kong and Yoshi. Interesting to see how this turns out. Uh, being a speed character and a power character, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be easy. So let's see how it goes. So far, it's going well. And I hate how in my last episode I said like 20,000 times my my cap, my speed cap was like 103, 104, when like almost my very first serve was 105. Like, ugh, I can't believe I even forgot about that. Nope, nope, oh! I wish I knew that, I wish there was a certain button mapped to diving, because I don't think there is on this game. Oh well. We'll just have to make do with what we have. Oh, oh man, I accidentally pressed Z and it cancels the shot. Oh my god. First world problems. But, yeah, that's okay. Wario has our back. Usually if I just, like, shoot a normal curve shot on my serve, Wario just smashes it back, like, every single time. Like that. Except, like, on the return, so... Eh, not quite a... Well, that certainly was not what we were looking for, was it? Okay, just making sure they didn't do that again. Because that would be so many sads. So much sad. So, in regards to that Mario 64 elimination thing I'm doing, uh, we actually finally were able to record the first episode without failure. Oh, they got the first game. Balls. They're winning. Balls. And they're probably going to win this because Donkey Kong is the server and he's amazing at serving because he's a power character. All power characters are. Speaking of being a... Really? Do you have to hit it back with topspin? That's like the worst thing you can do. Is to hit a serve back with topspin. That is the absolute worst thing to do. Especially when it's a power character serve, because you're just going to end up giving them a free smash. And Wario does that every single time. Like so. So, pretty much whenever a power character serves to him, there's no chance of us getting that point. And he keeps faulting. I have to move out of the way. Did he really just? Now come on, this is the last tournament. Do something useful. Thank you, very useful. We might actually win a game. Maybe, if we are lucky. And again with the out. See, everything's coming back on me now. Everything. Everything. Uh, see, him hitting me in the back, him double faulting, me hitting, smashing it out. It's all coming back now. And I'm so lucky that was not out, or else I wouldn't even have used this recording. Oh, nope. 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 Oh, okay. Nice. At least we deuced. We did, then again, we did deuce the first time. So as long as I don't smash, but I do do a top spin, it do do. <laughs> I should... Don't you dare give them a chance when we have advantage. Thank you. So... Is Yoshi serving? Okay, this shouldn't be as much of a problem, because he's going to slice all of his serves. Which... Okay, really, Donkey Kong? They're lined up. Like, Donkey Kong's on the same side as Yoshi. That's not how it works. I could have easily gotten a point if I sent it to the right when they're both on the left. Okay, this is getting stupid. But there's no other way to do this, so... Just wait until Wario catches a shot. There we go, see? You just gotta wait it out. Wait it out. Patience is a virtue. And I just have to get one shot in here. As long as he doesn't hit it to Donkey Kong, we should be fine. There we go. Yes. This is our set point now. Oh yeah, and remember when I said the computer was never gonna get a set point? I'm calling that off for this one because, um, impossibilities? They exist. I, like, I seriously have tried doing this match, like, off-camera without them getting the first set point, and I can't do it. At least not with Wario as my partner. And you know what? The being able to move while charging thing is kind of backfiring on me, because I always just tilt the control stick in what way I want the ball to go, and usually I end up just drifting away from the ball, and that's not a good thing. Let me turn down the volume so it doesn't catch in with the mic because if if it does go in with the mic then I have to like perfectly sync everything 
and that's like, uh, because whenever you record, sometimes the video records a little faster, like it skips like one or two frames every like hour, and it'll get a little bit forward, so you have to slightly adjust the audio recording, like your voice, like just a teensy weensy bit to keep it on. And I noticed that with the Mario World Let's Play because we were, at first we were recording it through, like, the game audio through the, through the mic, so we wouldn't have it with the video and we'd have to adjust it perfectly so, you know, it sounded right. Oh god, I think they're getting this game. And I don't think it'd really matter much because we have Wario on the next one, so. Oh, please, just stop, just stop. Just stop. He smashed it five times in a row. Just give him defeat. Okay, here we go. We might actually get this point. Oh, we got a point. Ha! You can't do nothing. You can't do anything, rather. Except for, apparently, keep doing that over and over again. And you know it screwed us over so many times, Wario. Okay, please, hit it tough. Thank you. There we go. Oh! 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 Y'all are just resilient today, aren't you? At least you're not in the crystal ball. Anyway. Ah. Anyway, nothing. I don't have anything to talk about except for the game now. Because at this point, like a game like this, you can't talk. Wario was right on. Why, why weren't you over there? You should have had that one. On this game, you can't just talk about the gameplay the whole time. Because it's the same gameplay. Until, like, I beat this tournament, then it won't be the same gameplay, because, like, extra modes, I get to talk about all the things, and extra modes shouldn't go by super fast, but they will be short, and he hit me in the back of that. But, this next game's gonna be ours anyway, because Warriors serving and smash. Over and over again, for days. See, that's the, that's the advantage of having a power character on your team. He smashes it like a mofo. Okay, please don't hit it to Donkey Kong. Thank you. And he hits it like that. Okay, Yoshi. See, can you at least hit it across the court? Like, you just keep hitting it straight. Okay, don't you dare. Don't you even start that. Nope. Chuck that stuff. Nope. 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 And one more, and we get our second game, and the next game, which Yoshi should be serving, should be a piece of cake. So, no problem. No! That is our game. Blue Wario. And if we win this one, that is our game. And I think we won the last game against mm, Yoshi serving, but now I'm not too sure. Oh god. Okay. I saw he did a smash attack for er, his a smash for a serve, and I was thinking the same thing's gonna happen every time Donkey Kong serves to Wario. Hits it high in the air, and then they just smash it over and over, like, ugh. That's another thing I've learned not to do, but I just keep doing constantly. Hitting top spins to Donkey Kong. Because whenever you do that, that happens. And they better not win this game, because I don't want to go into tiebreaker, although I probably would win the tiebreaker. Not gonna lie. Oh! In the face. That's what he gets for Wario getting hit in the face earlier. And that is Deuce. Deuces. Alright, so we should have the advantage here. No, oh, I hit another top spin to him. But sometimes it doesn't go all the way up. So, once again, we're in this little, this little portal thing where we just wait for something to happen. Like that. Thank you, Yoshi. You have to wait for Yoshi to give you the point there. Oh god, that was totally not what you're supposed to do. Not at all. Oh well, let's do this again then. Just wait for Wario to get in. Oh god, we're just gonna keep going farther out. Or not. And that's our point. You can see it. You can see it in his swing whenever he's gonna give you the point. Oh, I was about to say, did you just do that again? Oh, we won the match. And in nine, nine minutes. But you know what? That's too short for one episode. So we're going to do the next one. And we're appropriately going against Bowser for our last match. Nice. Given we do have, we are boo, so it's like, 
uh, villain against villain. And this is a five cent match. So it was right. We don't have to go. We don't have to do any seven cent matches, which is good because those take years. And with the fact that they're both power characters, sure, every time they serve, we're gonna get up the take, we're gonna take it up the butt. But it should be pretty easy to get it, the ball past them if we don't take it up the butt. So here's to hoping. It seems like Donkey Kong Jr. is not getting. Is his reach really that little? I think I thought he had like the second longest reach of like all the power characters, but yeah, like next to Donkey Kong or under Donkey Kong. But it seems like Bowser is reaching more than he is. So maybe, maybe those stats I saw were wrong. It certainly is looking. Like it. But we got the first game, so who cares? This, this, okay, okay. This is, he's gonna be doing it fast and wherever he wants. Okay, so we got it all. Then this should be our point. If we don't screw ourselves with something stupid. Hmm, nice. Is that the first point he scored? I think it is. Yes, because every single. Oh god, nope. Ah. See, whenever they smash it, you want to try and hit it back with a slice because slices all are always like right above the net, so they're not going to be able to smash it again, and usually it's not going to hit the net. Actually, with slices, there's more of a chance it's going to hit the holy crap. Nothing to prevent that, so I'm I'm pretty much going to have to pull us through this one. Because Wario's gonna do that time, that thing, every single time the power character serves it to you. Oh no! I think we not, we might not have this game because Wario is gonna, yeah, every single time. Yep, thought as much. But now he's serving and he's gonna fault. He's gonna double fault five times. That's what he's gonna do. Ugh. What? What? Did that hit me? Oh my God! That was a pitiful hit. I've never seen that. Where it's like, just, that was that looked like a solid hit, but it didn't do anything. I've never seen that. Usually, when it does that, it's like off the corner of, or the tip of the racket. But I suppose not. At least he's not faulting as much as he usually does. Alright, this should be our game, and since Donkey Kong Jr. Okay, if you don't double fault it every time, it should be our game. And I think Donkey Kong Jr.'s, um, him being the weakest power character, his serve shouldn't be that hard to counter for Wario. Hopefully. And I'm saying hopefully. And with Bowser being in the front, that's going to be more of a problem. Okay, yeah, Wario's not having as much of a problem. Nope! Oh, that hit me. In the back of the head. Yeah, Donkey Kong Jr.'s serves aren't that bad. So as long as I can keep it away from Bowser, we will get the points. And nice point there, Wario. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and a little shout I want to make. Um, Gaming Guru 51 right now is doing a let's play of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And since he's in my favorite chapter, I just want to say go check it out because I really like the chapter. It's um, chapter five, the pirate one. The one with Bobbery and whatnot. That one, that one really, really a heartwarmer. I mean, with all the love story with Bobbery and his wife that died and stuff. Yeah, I, I really love that chapter. And not just because of the story either, because the ass, that, the aesthetic. Yeah, that word of the island and stuff. I, like I just really like it. I, just like I like the Yoshi Island part of paper, the original Paper Mario. Although, I didn't like it as much as some other uh, chapters. Actually, I think, I'm pretty sure my favorite chapter in the first Paper Mario would probably be Flower Field ones. Because, I don't know, I just spent so much time in that area. Because, when I played that game, uh, I had the Nintendo 64 set up in my brother's room. And while I was playing that part of the game, like, we had all these other cousins, and I, I'm, like, the oldest cousin of my whole family that lives in Texas. Um, I'm usually, like, just not messing with them, because they're all, like, five years younger, at the very least. 
So they they like to run around and stuff. And the TV is like connected to the ceiling, kind of. It's like a pole on the ceiling. And I'm I'm surprised I hit that smash attack back. But like, and the cord went straight through like where you'd have to walk through. And since they were always running around, they unplugged it so many times that I never had a chance to save in that area. And I had to play it through it so many times. And I just like know it like the back of my hand now. It gets to like that when you... And that's the same thing with Super Mario 64 on Cool Cool Mountain. Because given when I was a kid, I was not very good at most games. But this was like a real long time ago when it was Super Mario 64. I mean, Paper Mario was just like two or three years ago, so. But we still had the Nintendo 64 set up. It, actually, it wasn't even at our house. It was at my grandmother's house. But still, it's the grandmother's house. She always has kids. I mean, come on. Duh. And the gaming room's out in the back, and there's a Super NES. Uh, actually, a normal NES in there, which is pretty old. Most of the games don't even work, but for the ones that do, I love playing them. Like, the original Zelda game works, which is pretty awesome. And that and uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, Doki Doki Panic, because obviously it's not a Japanese one. And she used to have the Nintendo 64 until I'm like, oh, I really like it a lot, so give me that. And then now, now it's in my room, so I'm just like, playing it whenever. And that's pretty much why, like, most of the games I do on this channel are Nintendo 64. Because I have the most access to it, and the GameCube. The Wii right now is in my brother's room because... Well, me having every single game system kinda would not be fair. But, like, they play on it ever anyway. They use it for Netflix. Which I can't blame them. Because I would use it for Netflix too, probably. But I just use my computer, so... Yeah. They usually play games on the PlayStation 3, and usually, well not usually, always, it's Call of Duty, so I don't really play with them. So, yeah, that's it for that story that led me to 20 different stories. Oh god, nope, nope, you're not even going to get that one off. Okay, don't hit it to the front, thank you. Well then I, nope, no! Yeah. Ah, oh, I can totally reach that. No! No! Fair. Fair. Deuces. If we, if we win this game, we win. Or is it the second set? I think this is the second set. Is this match point? No, it's just set point. So it's just the second set. So we still have one set. Oh, really? Really? Did he really just ace you? Watch how a pro does it. See? Slice. Slices. Not deuces. Slices. The advantage is one, ours once more, and hopefully I can block. No, oh, not quite. I hit it, but yeah. Inside. Ah, oh, I didn't even get to that in time. So he's probably gonna ace you, isn't he? Thought so. Well, there's their game. Just dragging this game on, or this match on for like 20 more hours. Great. But now that we're done with the Bowser serves game, we should be getting straight on here. We haven't lost a game unless it's Bowser's first and have one. I'm pretty sure. Or was that Bowser's first? Serve? No, that was a second because he serves. Yeah, he served on the second game. And then they won that one. And then, yeah. So that. See, it seems like that's how every single set's gonna go. And if that's the case, then this is gonna be a very long match. What? We've already been going on for like nine minutes already, so. But it doesn't matter. This is the last tournament. Why not spend a little extra time on it? Oh, hit it back. Thank you. And learn to do slices, for the love of God. Oh, in the face. That's what you get for all those services. Jesus. Alright, so uh, I think Don Donkey Kong Jr. is my favorite uh, character to go against in doubles now. Because uh, his reach sucks, and he's not powerful enough to completely own you while he serves. And he's slow. Yay! Him and Mario. Well, actually, you know what? The Mario Brothers are probably the funnest people to go against. The funnest. Probably the most fun people to go against on most, most Mario sports games. Although in golf, it doesn't really matter unless you go against, like, Steve Piranha, who, like, freaking nails it all the way to the hole in a five, in a five par. 
which is uh, pretty unfair, to say the least. I'm going to see if I can lob it over him. I don't think that's going to work. Nope, it did not in any way. Okay, no lobs. Lobs are stupid. So we're hitting it really high in, over, in top slot. Or top spin. Oh yeah, and uh, since Toad and Birdo aren't playable on um, Mario Power Tennis and later, in Mario Tennis Open they actually have suits for Toad and Birdo. And they actually give you the exact same stats that they have in this game, which is pretty awesome. Nice homage to this game. I really like it. And that's, it's like, those are, like, another thing, like, when you look at our shadows sometimes, there'll be like a cross like an X in shadows and that's because tennis courts are always like lighted from top to bottom not this court given because it's open well actually no because there's lights all the way across the top so yeah so sometimes it'll show like an X for, X for your shadow and I really like that attention to detail things like that just make the game for me and also look at the court it's all like like rooted up in now and that too that's also a uh, attention to detail because at the beginning of this match it wasn't like that. It was clean. I don't think they actually do that in any other Mario Tennis game, so that's pretty cool that this in this. Oh nice. Nice. I guess that's one upside to you. One of the very few. You know, like your faults, that's an upside, right? No. no. You're you're just Wario. That should have given all right, so this this better be wait. Bowser serving. This is not the last game, unless we can somehow manage to win this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure this match will be going on a little bit longer. Oh nope. Although I'm not sure how we're gonna get the point. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're gonna score a point unless Wario somehow manages to hit it back. Maybe if I stand like near the good god. Yeah, like I said, we're not winning this game. Bowser sir. Makes you wonder, is Bowser overpowered or is he too slow to be usable? Because if you can get off the serve, if you can get off a good serve, you you can just you just win the game right there. Just by good serve. Oh no, they won the game. Okay, well looks like we're going through two more games of games. But they, this one should be fast, since he's gonna like completely destroy them every time. Correct, Wario? You are a power character. Uh, third strongest at that. Which isn't very impressive, actually. Considering there's only four power characters. No, there's not only four power characters, there's four power characters. There's only two tricky games. But they're. They really make up for that for later games. Mario Tennis Open, they got. Boo, they got Bowser Jr. They got the white Yoshi. Actually, is that it? I think that's it. Uh, I think Diddy's speed, not tricky, so yeah, that's all of them. There's only three. Never mind then. I'm just crazy. Oh, this should be the last game. This here. Unless we just suck that much. But I'm pretty sure we got it. Come on, Wario, hit it the other way. Uh, brains, Wario, you lack that. Like I said, disadvantages. The advantages don't outweigh them. I just have to pull all the weight. Actually, I'm pretty sure the best matchup for Boo is actually a speed character. Because Boo being him is like, the fact that you can move while you're charging makes him seem pretty fast when he's actually one of the slower characters in the game. Like, he's faster than all the power characters except for Donkey Kong Jr., to put it in perspective. He is faster than Paratroopa, who Paratroopa is also not fast, is faster than all three power characters. Oh my god, dude! How are they just... Oh, stop hitting it to bow... Oh my god, we did not just lose that game. Okay, well, here, a tiebreaker to end it off. Sure. Oh, now you do that. Well, I guess we weren't really serving, so... Oh, God. Well, say hello to two points for them. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not, because I'm awesome. Oh, oh, scored a point when he's serving. How do you like them apples? And 
and then he scores one off base. Actually, does that count as a base? Or is it count as... I, I think... I don't think it counted as an ace. Because I didn't see the little numbers on the bottom. Maybe I just missed them, though. But, yeah. We, we easily got this game. Alright, nice. Really close game. Actually, no. They didn't even score any set points, did they? No, they didn't. So, no. It's not a close game. Because we're three sets above. They shouldn't even be trying. Oh, I'm serving. Yay! Looks like Donkey Kong Jr. didn't even serve. I mean, he only served once. Which I'm completely fine with, of course. Come on. Okay. We're in another portal instance where we just have to wait for Wario to impede on their fun times. Their happy, lucky, fun times. And there he goes. Mini bird. And this is it. This is the final thing. Hold on. Let's get it past him. We oh! Oh! Wario scored the last point. Yes! Oh, let's watch that again. Oh, beautiful. I didn't even show it. Anyway. Oh my god. 30 Smash winners through the total of us. They got 12 Smash winners and a lot of service aces and one return winner. Jesus. I've never seen that many Smash winners. Gonna be honest here. That's a lot of Smash winners. Oh my god. Look at that trophy. Beautiful. Absolutely remarkable. 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 Absolutely interesting. Remarkable. And that is the last we're gonna see of doubles, cause we're not doing doubles again. I'll tell you that much already. Like I said, I'm not good at doubles. And since I kind of just edited out the credits last time, because I went like halfway through, and then I just pressed the start button, I'm like, oh my god, I can skip it. What? Oh my god, <laughs> this episode's long enough already. I guess we're gonna just make it longer if it's just gonna be that long of an episode. I mean, it's 26. This is kind of the finale, except not even close. I mean, I'd say we have... Hmm, let's see. We have to show off the Bowser thing, which probably won't take that long. Probably just do a three-set match there. Uh, we have to show off the Piranha thing. That'll, that'll be its own episode, trust me. It'll surely be long enough. I don't think I've ever listened to this music. Let me take a second. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of the Mario Kart 64 music. But, notice how, like, all their tennis games, they, like, use a kind of trumpet sound. Like, all the music in this game uses that trumpet. Oh, hey, it's actually showing off our last game there. I didn't notice that. That's so cool. Is, is this actually what we did? Let me see. Maybe I'll be able to know. Uh, yep, that's definitely what we did. I did shoot it that way, and he did completely own it. So yeah, that's cool. Oh, wait, I haven't made a fun of any no names. Junichi Ochai. Well, it's not making fun of them. More as staring in awe as how awesome their names can be. Kanako Horiyuchi. Yuchi. Yuchi. Oh, yeah. I told my mom. My mom recently found out what a gooch was. And along with that, she re recently found out what a toad was. Because. Well, my brothers had. My brothers, who are like 9 and 10, they mentioned what a gooch was while we were in the car. And then my mom. Like, later that night. She'd never heard the word gooch before. So, she'd call my aunt. And she said, oh, I thought that area was a chode. And, I, and she's like, um, and you know what? I, I honestly don't know. So, she came in and asked me what a chode was. I'm like, uh, that's not what it is. And then she asked me what it was. And I'm like, I, I told her. And she's like, oh, well, that's sad that I had to learn that from my teenage son. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's that awkward conversation out of the way. I was meaning to say that in earlier episodes, but didn't get to it. Didn't want to get to it, rather. Japanese manual editors. Uh, Daryl, yeah, well, yeah, I guess our game did take that long. It took like 10 minutes. No, not even. It took like, oh my god, so much time. So many times. I mean, this is going to be a 30-minute episode. This is a long credit sequence, I gotta admit. 
Masaki Uno. Did you create Uno? I like that game. It's fun. Oh, we're getting to the special thing. So we're almost done here. So yeah, this is going to be approximately 30 minutes. And North America localization team. Bill Trennan. Michelle Powers. Really? Only two? Wow. They must have had... Well, given there's not much to translate. Just the voices and the... And the little first serve things and whatnot. There's like not... It's not text heavy or anything. I guess like localization teams for like... Everything else. Paper Mario games. That'd be... That'd be quite the duty. With how many characters you can just talk to. A debug staff. The treehouse. Is there a debug menu for this game? I think that'd be pretty interesting. Like, debug. Make booze appear everywhere. Like, booze, booze. Like, beer booze. That kind of thing. Could buy Camelot. Nintendo. Camelot. Camelot really takes kindly to Wario and Waluigi. Like, if you've noticed in all their, like, every single opening for a Mario Sports game, they're like the main antagonist because they love them so much and I, I like that they love them. Congratulations! Yep, that's us and that's the end and we're back at the title screen. So that will be it for this extremely long episode of Mario Tennis. Is this the longest episode I've ever uploaded? Nah, I don't think it is. I still think that that, that uh, Castle Crashers thing took the cake. Anyway, that is it for this episode. See you next time when we do the ring challenge. So look forward to that. Goodbye, everyone.